Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 9 a.m. update, and we begin with all the U.S. equity futures trading to the downside. You've got the S&Ps off 40 points, the NASDAQ 100, and Q, I should say, is down 161. The Dow's off 263, and the E-Main and Russell's down 27 points. Spot volatility index is trading above its 50-day exponential moving average. The current rate of change right now is 9.6%. You want to watch that at day's end if you get a rate of change change about plus 10 percent you should expect or anticipate some kind of rally some type of bounce it could even be a bottom out there if we take a look at what's going on over in asia you had the uh, shanghai finish up a point the hang Seng down 344 the nikkei off 298 over in europe right now the FTSE's trade down 45 the dax which we'll focus on during the traders Ed show uh, which we're going to be recording between 9 and 11 uh 9 and, 9 and 11 9 and 10 this morning you've got the dax down through 30 the reason we're going to take a look at the dax because of its directional correlation to the NASDAQ. If we take a look at what's going on in the metals market, you've got gold off 19 bucks, silver's down 26 pennies, copper's off 81 cents. Let's take a quick peek at my nine panel market update chart. We've been with the ES Mini. Right now, it's trading below the bottom of its daily profile. That number's at 52.96. A close below that gives us a potential profile change in trend signal. We would need to see a second consecutive close below that level. You can now see the spot volatility. It's trading above that 50 day at 13.88. The NQ, if it generates a bearish reversal candle today, that will confirm a sell the D point top. Uh, with profile levels being down at the 18508 area for support. U.S. dollar index is rallying a bit, but it's got resistance at that's at the bottom and center of its daily profile. That's between 10480 and 10497. Gold is trading with inside a new profile. This is the October, I'm sorry, this is the August contract. And that profile's got support at 236150, a resistance up at 2400. Silver, is trading above resistance and likely going to target the 3403 level. That's its one to one A to B equals CD price projection. We do have light speed crew that is trading above the top of its profile. That's at 79.88. If you close above that, we're likely headed higher. And if you take a look at natural gas and consolidation within a profile that formed three days ago, the support level there 272, resistance up at 297. And finally, the 30 year treasury closed below the bottom of its daily profile yesterday. It's trading below that today. That suggests lower prices right now. We'll take a look at the 30-year treasury during the Trader's Ed show as well. Folks, stay tuned, but if you're off to start your Wednesday, have a wonderful one. We we'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.